This is an emergency I beg in urgency This is a serious case surprised, amazed, and you're going to enjoy this reading. I speak the truth. Uh, it is what it is. Whatever spirit tell me what I think you should know, I'm going to tell it. Uh, and I give you give you an opportunity via clarifiers to ask the spirit a question. Uh, so we'll go from there. Uh, when you get to your seventh house, you must ask that card a question. You cannot skip that, that house. That's one of the rules, okay? When you get to the seventh house, you must ask that card a question. Okay. All right. Without further ado, let me get your first name so I can pray over the card. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. So I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of military weapons around you. Military grade weapons at that. Uh, what they keep saying, huh? Really? Yeah, they they keep giving me some kind of law enforcement, military affiliation, or something along those lines. Okay. You kind of know what they're talking about on that one. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. Yeah. Do you uh, yeah, you can tell me. I mean, I just don't want to know your zodiac or your birthday. But yeah, that's what that's what he keeps showing me. Military grade weapons, uh, any kind of law enforcement gun. Yeah, they keep saying yes, sir. They keep, he keeps standing up at attention, saluting yes, sir. But when he salutes, he put his hands down and he grabs a damn gun, an M sixteen or something. So what what is he oh, saying? Okay. Energy is still on you. Really? Yeah, for me oh, to. My kids do call me. They call me the, uh, the police. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. cute. That's funny. That's see. Well, I, at least I know I'm tapped in, right? Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start with your first house. Your first house is ruled by Aries and is governed by Mars. Your first house represents. Your ego, self-esteem, how you treat yourself, what you think of yourself, uh, and all that stuff. It's all about you. And in this house right here, you have the two of air and the upside down position. Having the two of air and the upside down position, spirit is saying that uh, you don't you don't see yourself communicating with somebody you care about. Now let me. I want to clear it up because I don't like being vague. I need you to know that spirit knows what he knows. I know that sounds okay. crazy. So. You really want to reach out to somebody who you had relationships with, but here's the thing. The communication is so brief like that. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. Got to go. It's that type of energy that's circulating around you and you trying to think, you kind of thinking, what are you doing wrong to get this kind of response? What spirit is saying? Is that is that is that making any sense to you? How you see it, like you yeah. can you kind of blaming yourself for the communication, like damn, what could I have said or what can I talk about next time? That type of energy, you're you're really like, oh, I need to figure out a way to get in to get a conversation from him. Right. Yes, that's true. Uh, um. Yeah. Would you like to ask that kind of question? Would you like to ask that card a question? Yes. Um, that is what a, a person that I'm interested in. I wanted to know, um, will I marry that person or um, what type of relationship do you see happening with that person? I'm gonna have to ask. I'm gonna have to ask the first question. I can't ask the second question because there's a house for that. Okay. Spirit, do 
Do you see? Spirit. Ask that question again. Spirit said it's a house for that. So that's it's like double jeopardy. What he's saying, you'll be playing double jeopardy. So ask the question again. Now, this is how you see yourself when you communicate with this person. This anxiousness, this figuring out a way to get in to communicate. Ask this card a question on that level. Okay, will I get married to Spirit say that's double jeopardy. Energy. So let me let me direct you in the in the way you you gotta ask this question. You ma okay. I, I have a house for marriage. You can ask that okay. in that house of marriage, or it may just tell you what it needs to tell you about your marriage. This is a house of how you see yourself in communicate, okay. and, and it's saying you can't communicate properly to this fellow. So if you're going to ask a question, typical question would be, how do I communicate? What do I say? What needs to be okay. said? That type of stuff. Okay, so how should I communicate with that person? Gotcha. Spirit, how should she communicate with this individual? Education. He's an intellectual person. Okay. You're not speaking his language intellectually. Science fiction, science, uh, math, uh, anything with learning, history, magic, anything that could teach him something, that's how you get his attention. Anything that could teach him something. Okay. Correct. He's a scholarish type fellow, huh? You didn't know? Well, I thought, I thought he may have been. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Spirit say this is an educational man. Like, you got to spark his interest. Hey, did you know that, the, you know, SpaceX launched in Florida down there? And Florida has the largest uh, cattle, uh, has a lot of cattle in, in, the, in the United States that don't come from Texas. You know, you got to start right. in, engaging him in intellectual conversation, and that's the type of man that he is. He's a he's a thinker. Okay. Yes, okay. he is a thinker. All right. So now we're going to go over here to your second house. Your second house is ruled by Taurus, and it's governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic situation, money, wealth, prosperity, growth. In this house right here, you have Oshun. Having Oshun in his house, she's basically saying you're constantly trying to figure out how to merge your money together or, or, or... Okay, Spirit, say, say, Spirit, say, just say it flat out. Uh, with Oshun, with this Oshun energy, you're trying to impress this person, I'm stable, I got it going on, I look good, I smell good, I can be all you need to be. You're vying, you're shelling out more money than you should to impress too soon. They say you're trying to impress too soon. Like you're just trying to, you know like when somebody about to come visit you, you go and you buy all the trinkets that go in your house that you think so they could, you could be interesting to them. You know, spent at the end of the day just for a two-hour visit. You know, spent three hundred dollars. Right, 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 right. That's what you're doing right now because you're trying to get him to see you as beautiful or someone to see you as fully fledged woman. All they right. can, all they ever need. Would you like to ask? And why do I got it? Why why am I lightheaded? Is any uh is any medication being taken or any marijuana being smoked or something? Cause I'm I got dizzy, lightheaded. By me? Yeah, just now when I was explaining that, it's it's like incense. Okay. Um, I I burnt some. Well, yesterday I burnt sage. Oh, okay. It's it's really strong. It, it was it, it really hit me hard. Did it choke you out a little bit? <laughs> it, it's so funny. It, I was telling my friend it smelled like weed. It was it was really strong. I was like this. I said it, you know it's my first time burning sage in my house, and she was like, I was telling her it smelled like weed. My friend. Oh yeah. So 
Yeah, I got a, I got a little lightheaded, a little woozy just then off of that there. I'm like, oh, is she smoking pot doing this bit? So yeah, but uh, but yeah, you're you're trying to impress. You're you're spending too much money, or you're about to start spending too much money to impress somebody. Leave the okay. trinkets alone. It's the conversation and education that that you're gonna get the most out of this fellow. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, yeah. So this has to do with said money and wealth. Will right. I be able to ask about um, job opportunities? Will that be considered? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So my question is, um, I recently applied for a job. Um, will I get that job that I applied for recently? Spirit. Do you see her getting this job she applied for? You can do it! Yes. Really? Oh my God. Oh. You can do it! Wow. Oh, that's great. All right. So now we're going to go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and it's governed by Mercury. Your third house represent com uh, communication. And with Gemini being in this house, it represents communication as information. Take it as it is. It could come good or bad. Gemini's, you know, they flip flop. So, okay. just information. And in this house right here, you have the seven of earth in the upright position. Spirit is saying, you're reaching, you're reaching, you're reaching. This is the only thing he keeps saying. You're reaching, you're reaching. You're reaching. Educate yourself here. Spirit is chastising you, saying you're reaching too far. You And he's showing me somebody reaching for something and trying to get it, and they just keep on trying to get it. Uh, slip and fall. Really? Okay. Dude, stop. You're trying too hard. Yes, you're trying too hard. This is spirit coming to you saying, don't get mad. You're trying too hard. This is the time you scale back and start a different way. Maybe you get off that ladder, climb down, move the ladder over just a little bit, then climb back up and get, and get, and, and get the fruit. You follow me? Take a step back, reassess, adjust, then get it. So, I don't, I'm not following. So, that has to do with communication? That's spirit telling you what you need to do. Spirit is coming in communication Hardcore, okay. saying you're reaching. Okay. I'm reaching. Even and let's let's put it on spirit. Say then let's put it on communication. If you're trying to reach out to this person, trying to get into this person, trying to get a conversation out of this person, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you're trying too hard, and, and 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 you need to just take a step back and reassess, and then you can oh, okay. you follow. It, it's just spirit say you're reaching, you're reaching, you're reaching, and you're gonna slip and fall. Would you like to ask okay, this card a question? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, would you like to ask this card a okay. question? Um. Spirit, how should she communicate? He's scratching his head. He said he thought he told you that. All. Okay, tell her. <laughs> how should she communicate, Spirit? How should she communicate? All right, you communicate with yes answers. So it's like if the person asks you a question, the way you communicate, you give a yes. Don't give a yet. If, if, if you're not comfortable doing any crazy thing, don't let them say, hey, screw me tonight. And yes. So, you know, just be like, hey, you got a little time to talk? Yes. Uh, that type of thing. Hey, do you know anything about X, Y, Z? Give me a second. Google on your phone. Yes. I know X, Y, and Z about X, Y, and Z. You follow me? This The way you communicate is a yes before, uh, agreeing. Spirits say Agree and then disseminate information. Okay. So I, I guess it's just just the 
uh, straight tactics of communication. You know, agree and then state your piece. So that's how you communicate. No, uh-uh, hell no, no way. That shit gonna... Don't close it. Do you follow what they're saying? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, because keep in mind, in this card, they said you was reaching. Reaching means you're trying to find out so much about this situation that you're not seeing when the person do call. You're 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 not agreeing with the conversation that's being said, so I got to go. So now we're going to go over here to your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and is governed by the moon. Your fourth house represents your actual house and home, where you live, where you lay your head. I would like to represent, I would also like to say it represents the three closest people you will allow to stay in your home, your friends and family. And in this house right here, you have the five of water and the upside down position. Having this card in the upside down position, spirit has painted me a beautiful picture that there's no struggling in your house anymore. They keep showing me like a nice breeze flowing around your house. There's no more struggling because they say you had a secret here, by the way. You had a secret in your home. Did you used to like knock over shit or, or like didn't give a fuck about breaking something if it came up to it? They say you was kind of like destructive in your home. And now that energy has calmed down. They said that, damn, she don't, she ain't breaking nothing no more. She ain't just leaving it on the couch no more. She ain't just saying fuck it no more. So the energy uh, didn't calm down in your house. That was your biggest secret that you had a I don't give a fuck attitude, right? When you got home because it's boring now, right? Mm, totally understand. So now that's why Spirit gave that scenario that you were gonna start spending money on your house trying to fix it up just to impress people to show that you were that type of woman. And it says scale back. But uh, yeah, your household is getting really good. No more struggle there, no more emotional turmoil in that house. That energy that was there is gone. I guess that's that strong gas sage you did really ran it off. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, Spirit say your household is clean. A okay, okay, dokie. Ain't no ghosts in there. Ain't no spirits in there. Ain't no curses on you. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna clear up all that. Cause spirit say you're gonna get to the eighth house and ask that question. Okay, the so eighth house. You were gonna get to the eighth house and ask that question, cause it's in your subconscious okay. mind. Spirit Baron, why do I always worry about this? Does somebody got some on? Nope, ain't nothing on you. Ain't nothing in your house. You just had some bad energy. You were angry. You just didn't give a fuck at one time. Now that shit has changed. You're okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, but you said it was about house, home, and people who live in the house, mm -hmm. right? Uh huh. Um, uh, house and home. Do you see me moving to Charleston, South Carolina? Spirit, do you do you see her moving to Charleston, South Carolina? Twin flame. That's where you gonna meet your man at. <laughs> That's, is that where your man live? <laughs> no. Okay. That's where I was from. Well, moving there, you meet somebody because you got twin flame. So yes, I see you moving there. But moving there, you meet somebody. You meet a you you become a part of somebody. So I know you like this fellow now, but you're gonna end up meeting somebody there as well. Wow. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna go over here to your fifth house. Your fifth house is ruled by Leo and it's governed by the sun. Your fifth house represent your your fifth house represents your sex life, entertainment, and luck. Sex life, entertainment, and luck. I'm gonna say it again. 
And in this house right here, you have the Ace of Fire in the upright position. Having the Ace of Fire in the upright position, then this is how Spirit is saying. <laughs> Spirit is sick. Say what now? That was my video. Uh, that was my video editing software. Let me know that in one of my videos of that. Uh, so I, I'm trying to figure out a way how to tell you this. So spirits say you're not you're not gonna be shy about asking for what you want. Now this is in your house of sex life, entertainment, and luck. Read, follow, read between the lines. So you're not going to be shy uh, about asking for what you want. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, about sex, entertainment. Okay, so will my sex life be with um, the person that I was I'm interested in now? Gotcha. Good question. Spirit, will her sex life be with the person she interested in now? Energy healing. Focus upon your strength. And yes, yoga. Release. Releasing uh, tension, built up tension. So yes, surprisingly, you're going to end up having sex with the person that you're interested in now. Energy healing is gonna is gonna be good for you too. Wow. Yep. Matter of fact, spirits say since this guy is heavy on education, use the words explore. Come, let's explore. Come and explore me. Use that type of stuff. Come experience. You feeling me? This is how you get him. Come get some of this coochie. I ain't gonna get it. You know, come over here. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just saying what Spirit's saying. You know, come over here. Let's explore each other. Come over here and explore me. You know, that's the type right. of talk he like. Right. All right. So now we're gonna go. <laughs> so you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So now we're gonna go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economic. Uh, situation uh, money wealth prosperity investments for the future and in this house right here you have a message from the earth in the upside down position let me tell you something they showing me okay. they showing you at a loss me at a loss they show me they showing you at they showing me that you're gonna end up losing Oh, no. Why are you? Why is she gonna lose anything, Spirit? What What is she doing wrong? That she is that you because you just said she's gonna get a job. What is she gonna lose? You can't give somebody a job and then say they're gonna lose. So explain. Message from the earth. You're gonna get gypped out of something that you sell. Like if you're selling some property. You got to be real careful that somebody is not going to take advantage of you, what they're saying. They're saying this is a loss via contract. Okay. So if this job tells you to move and they're going to, oh, I promise you a house, I promise you by $18,000 salary bonus, get it in writing. Okay. Please get it in writing. This is the, surprisingly this this loss is nothing has nothing to do with you. They saying it's contractual because you're gonna get taken advantage of. And the only thing I can see, they keep saying the new job. If it's a travel job, please don't say yeah I move over here to the Carolinas just to move. And then they paying you the same ways they would pay you here, and then you end up taking a loss trying to rebuild or working ten times harder. Just be very careful on that situation. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, wow, okay. Sure. Um, so, I guess... Wow, okay. So you're saying I shouldn't... 
make sure I do whatever I do in writing. So should I, can you ask the spirit, should I move? Spirit, should she move? You say that she will move, but the question is, should she move? Should she move? Spirit says, go now. Yeah, you should move. It's a good deal. Just be mindful. Be careful. Yes. Okay. Wow. Why am I seeing you upstairs? Right. I'm not sure. You said you're seeing me upstairs? Yeah, I'm seeing like two levels to a house or an apartment complex, but you're upstairs. Um, I, well, not now, but I, my previous apartment was, I was on the second floor. Move to, next time you move, move to the second floor again. Like, if you don't buy a house, get a two, if you buy a house, get a two-story house. If you move and you get an apartment, get it on the second floor. Spirit is saying okay. it's a reason you need to do that. If he not showing me the reason, I guess it's not time, but the second floor is a safe zone for you. So spirit said, keep that. And you got, you had that feeling for a reason. Wow. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go into your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represent your relationship, the couple dating, matrimonial affairs, romance, and passion. In this house right here, you have the four of Earth in the upside down position. Darling, trust me and believe when I say you don't have to work that hard. <laughs> you you are not okay. some some bucket of bolts that you have to put all of this damn work in to get somebody's attention. Okay. Stop working so hard. Because spirit say the two guys you're trying to impress, by the way. Really? Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you know the two guys, right? But there's the so spirit there's two guys. The spirit say there's two guys you're really trying to impress. But spirit say these particular two individuals, they're they're really not worth your time. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. So go at them easy. Don't put all of your shit into them, cause they're not really worth your time for now. They they're they're right now. They're not Mr. Right. They're Mr. Right now. Okay, both of them, same energy. I don't know if both of them are an earth sign or not. Uh, one could be an Aries, one could be a Capricorn, or one could be a Taurus. But they keep saying that type of energy there. Horns. Uh, but yeah, they spirit say you don't have to work that hard for your love life, so stop it. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? He's an earth sign somewhere. He's he got horns. He's a bull. So I would say a Taurus. Taurus. So yeah, I knew you were dealing with an Aries, or you had to be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn. But the other guy is a stubborn bull headed horns. Taurus. Maybe he's a Virgo, yeah. but I know he got strong earth in. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to work that hard to impress him. 
Is one of these guys? No. Okay. I ain't got. I spirit was just saying, what's up with what's up with the white people or, or Caucasian? He kept saying, is one of them Caucasian? He's always creeping his little ass in the mix of your relationships. By the way, spirits say learn to learn to turn learn to push that back a little bit if you're gonna ever get in a relationship. But I see his little white ass creeping through. I I, I didn't believe it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you don't think spirit real, I tell you. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, it's true. I mean, he uh, texts me every morning. And- Very, <laughs> very consistent. <laughs> Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, how, how long is the romance going to last with um, Aries? Spirit, how long is the romance going to last with old Aries here? <sighs> Quite a while. You're going to end up trusting him. For some reason, you're going to trust him to say, you're going to believe everything this man say. Uh, spirit says it's going to last a while. Or Spirit is saying... Can you say that again? Say the sentence again? I need to trust him? Yeah, Spirit say you're going to end up trusting him. Uh-huh. And it's going to last a while. And Spirit is saying it's okay to trust him. But keep in okay. mind, this okay. is not forever. So now we're going to go over here to your 8th house. Your 8th house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your 8th house represent your eighth house represent your subconscious mind. What it is you think about, what it is you remember, forgot, what it is you're afraid of, what it is you love, passion. It's not real, it's just there. And in this house right here, you have the 6 of water in the upside down position. So you're restless, dear. You're restless. 100% emotionally, you're restless. You're supposed to be taking your time, relaxing, keep kicking your feet up. You're saying, fuck it. You're saying, fuck it. I, I, I'm restless. I need to do something. Ah, you're emotionally restless. Uh-huh. still ain't enough. You're still looking for shit to do even when you get done with that. Yeah, I'm always volunteering and yeah, I'm always looking for something to do. Been there, done that. <laughs> know how it is. It'll drain you up. Either drain you up or allow people to use you up. Prior? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, did that for 14 years. Volunteer, work, school, businesses. When, and I finally learned I, I finally learned how to sleep three years ago. So that's cool. Uh, you yeah, just, I'm very um, I guess I am I am restless. Like I'm like a little kid, like always running. Um Yeah, but I, I recently started meditating and Yep, it's gonna be good for you, so affirmations. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, the subconscious mind. Um, so, if I'm restless, what I mean, you said I should learn to sleep better. Um, what should I do to, I guess, calm myself down? 
can she do to calm herself down? What can she do to calm herself down? Mother, wife, sister, daughter. Sweetie, the only thing you need to do to calm yourself down is you need to get that man in your bed. You want to feel, you want to feel like a woman. That's it. He could have said it something different, but this is the one time he just said she just needs to be treated like a woman. She needs to be treated like a woman. You need to be nurtured, catered to. You will calm your ass down. You will stop running so much if you just get somebody who cares enough about you, you feel, to stop it. So you really need to get your mail in your bed. All right, <laughs> so now we're gonna go over here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled okay. by Sagittarius, and it's go. I mean, your ninth, yeah, your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius, and it's governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, your reality, the things that will become what will happen. And in this house right here, you have the three of water, another emotional card, in the upside down position. So, what if I told you that you're going to cut off the white guy and the Taurus guy and just deal with the Aries for a long time? That's what, that's what, you, that's what you think in the future? Yeah, because this three of water is upside down. So, that means you're going to stop splitting your energy with three people and just focus on one. Archie Bunker ain't gonna get it, huh? That time that said. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm. No. All right. We'll be... <laughs> <laughs> I I had to mess with you because when Spirit showed the white man jumping in my jumping in my in my reading, I'm like, oh boy, here we go with this. Why? Is I thought you were dating a cowboy or something. I didn't know it was Archie Barker. <laughs> yeah, no, our views are too different. No. Yeah, I, I like old Archie Barker though. Either. Archie Barker, a good person though. You know that, right? He is. A, he's a good man. He is definitely a good man. He's a good man. All right. Sorry, Archie Barker, but you ain't it, Pippin. All right. So, would you like <laughs> to ask this card a question? That's not a question, that's a statement. You gotta ask the question. Okay. Um, will my kids be, can you tell me about my kids' future? Sure, ask the question. Um, okay. Will uh, my daughter remarry? Spirit, will her daughter remarry? Will her daughter remarry? Positive change. Yes. Okay. Um, will my youngest son get married? Spirit, will the youngest son get married? Let it go. No. No, okay. No time soon. Let it go. Huh? No time soon? Mm -mm. So let that idea go, Mom. Spirit, tell me about the oldest boy. What, what you what you saying? Will he get married? Uh, balanced career in home life. Either he's going to get married to a military person or he's going to the military and going to find a wife. But this person going to have military background, somewhat similar to you, law enforcement, military, in that she got the same energy as you do. So, yeah, he's going to get married to a version of you. Surprisingly, you're going to like her. Hell, you, okay. may, you may even hook him up. Cop. 
Correct. Cop or military, yes. She's gonna have she's gonna have braid natural hair. So be on the lookout for somebody who wear her hair in two braids, natural hair, but really solid, stern. Can kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's what he needs. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's wonderful. The younger son boy, ooh, that boy's gonna have his kid back, baby. Yo! Nah, that's just a cold, cold. Youngest son, I want to get married. That's cold. Mom, I love women. <laughs> I'm going to be searching. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to be spying. I'm going to find mine, but until I do, mm, party over here. Wow. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to go up here <laughs> to your 10th house. Your 10th house is ruled by Capricorn and is governed by Saturn. Your 10th house represents how everybody will view you, how the community will view you, how everybody will view you, your kids, your boyfriend, don't matter. In this house right here, you have the nine of water in the upright position. No matter where you go, you cannot escape the simple fact that you're still going to be trying to carry everybody else's burdens. And I don't care where you move, you're still going to be worried about them kids. I don't care where you move, right. you're still going to keep in contact with Archie Barker because you're going to feel sad for him. I don't care where you move, <laughs> you're still going to try to keep your family together and all that stuff. People are going to see you as the one to hold everything together continuously, Spirit said. Notice the word, right. continuously. Organizations are going to be dependent on you no matter where you go because you're the glue in that situation too. Yep. My organization said? All your organizations. Multiple, believe it or not. Multiple? Multiple organizations you're going to become a part of and you're going to be the glue. That's good. That's good to know. Mm. Uh, Spirit says it's the night one that you're really going to have trouble with. So uh, when you're going out at nighttime with these organizations, uh, she said, the, the, uh, it's a late, oh, it's a female spirit. Go ahead. She says, going out at night time will be the most challenging stress on you when you're in a group setting. Really? So if you're volunteering at the AAA, if you're volunteering at the shelter, if you're volunteering the, 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 the pick up bottles in the middle of the night, this is going to be taxing. I should probably not do that. I would recommend you stay daytime. It's the reason your ass is going to be on the second floor. Mm. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Should be doing the nonprofit in the future. Okay, okay. I see where you're going, Spirit. Will she be doing the nonprofit in the future? Oh wow! So you have a problem with weak women, huh? So you don't like women who don't stand up for themselves. So serious, the organization you're starting and failing what spirit is saying. One, drink more water, make people more beautiful. You're going to be talking to the feminist side of the woman, woman saying make her beautiful. Uh, you're better than this. You're stronger than this. You can do more than this. You're, you're made for better. This is your speech. Wow. Second wow. card, it says you are seeing the situation accurately. Seeing the situation accurately 
Meaning this is you're going to be imparting knowledge and wisdom onto somebody. I'm telling you what your, your organization going to be. And third, it says detach from drama. So if, the, if a man slapped down a woman, your organization is going to put a stop to that shit and get her help. So this is a card right. stated that you're going to be helping women. So that's your organization. And yes, they see you doing that type of organization. This is so beautiful. But the first organization, you start, you got to help women. That's your that's your passion. I told you, Spirit, say you hate a woman that ain't strong. You got to be, you, your thing is to make sure every woman is strong enough. Right. And that's what Spirit say you're going to do. That's your organization. And yes, you open it. I like this reading. This reading was okay. But I enjoyed it. You ain't gonna get a better reading than this. You ain't gonna get a more accurate reading than this from anybody. Wow, yeah, you, yeah, you know, you know a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of shocking a little bit, you know. I promise I ain't gonna come to your house in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying that. All right. So that was your reading. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. I did record it, and I will upload it. Uh, your name won't be in it. It won't be uploaded tomorrow because I'm editing so many. I'm behind, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. But definitely it'll be up there, okay? Good evening. Okay, you too. All right, everybody. That was a... Excellent. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, everybody. That was an excellent reading. Uh, it had all the elements and the qualities that I love about a reading. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person. Beautiful reading. Amazing. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust in you in universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, subscribe. Share, share, share. When you share these videos, you not only help me, but you help everybody in our community, and that's what it's all about. I want you to know black lives do matter. All lives matter, but our lives are the one that's on the line, so I support the Black Lives Movement, and I thank you all out there for supporting it, too.